Glory to God. Amen. Now that you are aware and you've chosen to participate, um, I want to assure you by the Spirit of God that you will not miss the new. Glory to God. Um, now, some things I want to bring to our attention. Um, in, the in the past few recordings, I definitely was saying some things that were not correct. What Daddy is doing is he said, Ima, I'm doing new things. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, I have to correct it. Yes, he's not doing a new thing. He's doing new things, meaning his mindset is to do more than one new thing for you, in you, and through you this season. Amen. So I'm correcting that. The title of the um, the word for the month is I do new things, not I am doing a new thing. All right. So thank you for understanding. I had to come and do that correction before we can go ahead with the um, recording for today. Amen. Yes. He is doing new things. And it's amazing how the word of God make you and I to understand that in our lives, there will be seasons. There's a season to do what? To sow. There's a season where we give time and then we reap our harvest. This season is the season of the new. This is one thing that is very common. When you hear the word season, it means it's a stretch, it's a given time. It has a beginning and it has an end. You and I, we are not very sure if it's only the month of April. Let's assume that it's only the month of April. That is telling you and I that we need to be able to cooperate with the season. It could be April and May. We don't know exactly how long it stretches. We are doing what? Following the Spirit of God. Like the children of Israel will follow the crowd or the pillar of, of fire. The, the cloud in the day and the fire in the night. That's how you and I are following the leadership of the Holy Spirit. But this is what I want to bring to our attention this morning. No matter what it is, no matter how long um, the season of the new stretches, you will only get as much as you do what you are aware and you participate. This morning, the focus is on the fact that it's a season. It would definitely come to an end that you will be doing some other things after the season of the new. Are you focused? Are you participating? It's not always going to be like this. It's not always going to be an open door where he's doing new things like he's doing at this magnitude. In my personal life, I have seen awesome new things. I've experienced awesome new things this month. And I'm so grateful. In the ministry B for Global Impact, we have seen new things. Our partners have recorded new things. Even in the functioning of the gifts of the spirit i have seen a different dimension of the functioning of the gifts of spirit in our ministry but this is what i want you to, to know be aware that it's a season and also follow the necessary instructions remember we said if you know that it's the season and you're following the instructions you will get your new or the news amen now we are going to look at something that is very characteristic of a season of the new. Every single time in the scripture or in my life as a person, you might have experienced the same. When daddy is doing new things, there is something that will always be characteristic. It's called distraction. Amen. We can say, yes, that's one of the most used weapon of the enemy, but he uses the most during seasons where daddy is changing our seasons why is it so it's because he's aware of the fact that if you don't participate despite your awareness that it's a new season you will not get the new he will always want to show up to distract you and the most annoying is that sometimes it's so subtle before you know it your season is past and then you're like, my God, I should have focused. But then your season is over and you're wondering, what else can I do? I'm bringing the alarm this morning. So you let go of those distractions. I know there are some things distracting you from focusing on the new. It could be your mindset. It could be a pain. It could be someone. 
most of the times is close family members. Amen. Or a long standing problem. Guess what? Don't focus on them. Hebrews said, look away from all that distracts and focus on the Lord. That is my wish for us this morning. That's what beautiful global impact is calling your attention to. Look away from all that is distracting you and focus on the Lord because this is a season. It will not always be here. Amen. Make use of this season and get the news. Amen. It's the season of the new. Get every new that he has for you. Glory to God. Amen and amen.